Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Ozenbaugh. And I'm Dylan Sonny Birch. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The new budget cut at Point Lookout Park causes the pier to close early, cutting off night fishing week sooner than usual. Roughly a 10% budget reduction experienced by the Maryland Park Service this year is causing a local state park to cut services this month, according to the state agency. As of November 12th, Point Lookout State Park in Scotland closed its long pier for night fishing until April 15th of next year, which is three weeks earlier than usual. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development awarded $3 million to seven local public housing agencies in Maryland last week to provide affordable housing to non-elderly persons with disabilities. St. Mary's County received the most of any county in funds. The housing assistance is provided by HUD's Mainstream Housing Choice Voucher Program which gives housing agencies funding to assist non-utterly disabled people who would otherwise be at risk of being homeless after transitioning from one housing situation to another. The St. Mary's Housing Authority received over $1.4 million through the assistance program. Local Housing Authority Executive Director Dennis Nicholson said this, We are very pleased to have the collaboration and support of the county. The St. Mary's County Health Department has been offering free opioid overdose response training at the Health Department and County Libraries over the past few years. The overdose response program has been running training sessions since 2014. Marilyn Crace, a behavioral health prevention and outreach supervisor for the County Health Department, said participants learn how to administer naloxone, a life-saving drug that can reverse the effects of an overdose by blocking the effects of opioids on the brain and by restoring breathing. Three elements in St. Mary's public schools are in need of improvement. According to the Every Student Succeeds Act Consolidated Strategic Plan, the Head County School Board officials came together November 20th to discuss what will need to be focused on to achieve state-set education goals. School Systems Deputy Superintendent Maureen Montgomery says early literacy, trans transition grades, and the ninth grade success are lacking areas. Montgomery has noticed that issues are present, particularly in students transitioning from elementary to middle and middle to high school especially with the transfer to ninth grade. Early English language arts literacy is also lacking, which is troubling because early language skills are some of the most important to later success. Two Leonardtown High School seniors ate their letters of intent on November 20th to play their respective sports in college and still have one more spring season of high school athletics to look forward to. Raiders senior Tori Bowles signed to play NCAA Division I softball at Mount St. Mary's University and senior Calvin Flippen will play NCAA Division III men's lacrosse at Anderson University, South Carolina. On November 10th, Leo Boucher, a sophomore from St. Mary's Community College, committed and came in second place in the men's championship for sailing. Leo had this to say about his victory. Going into the event, I believe I had a shot at winning the whole event. I felt confident in my skills and physical training. I had been working hard on and off the water. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Ausenbaugh. And I'm Dylan Sonny Birch. Signing off.